Dr. Carl Papin, and I'm professor of medicine at the University of Florida in the Division of Cardiovascular Medicine. So I've been treating patients with ischemic heart disease and heart failure for over 40 years. We have been doing cell therapy trials here at the University of Florida, and we've treated a fairly large number of patients. So the Cardiamp HF trial uh, is focused in patients who have had a prior heart attack. In other words, they have ischemic heart disease, a coronary artery became occluded or blocked, and that caused heart muscle damage, and they have a scar remaining from that. So we are particularly interested in patients who had their heart attack three months or more ago. In other words, we're not interested in acute heart failure patients after a heart attack. The Cardiamp HF trial is focused on using patients' autologous bone marrow cells. These are cells that are harvested from the patients and then examined and appear to be potent. And then we concentrate them and then administer them directly back into the patient's heart muscle. One of the novel features of the Cardiamp trial is that we have this potency assay. So this is an attempt to improve upon the cell therapy that has been used in prior trials by selecting patients who have bone marrow cells that appear to have characteristics that they're gonna show benefit. Biocardia has examined cells and cell characteristics from a number of trials and designed a selection score so we do what we call a mini bone marrow harvest. Five cc's or five mLs are removed. Those are sent to a core laboratory and the cells are examined. And if they have a potency score of three or more, there's a good likelihood that they will benefit the patients. So then we bring the patients back. We do a harvest of 60 cc's. We process those cells with a small processor in the laboratory. It takes 20 to 30 minutes to do that. This selects out the bone marrow mononuclear cells that we believe are going to improve the patient's heart function. We inject those cells directly back into the patient's heart muscle using a special catheter that's designed and manufactured by the Biocardia company called Helix. That catheter is capable of delivering fairly high volumes of cells that have a retention in the myocardium longer than other injection delivery systems. So based upon what I've just summarized, we believe there's a good prospect for CardioAmp uh, to uh, show benefit. The natural course of this type of heart failure is progression over time. It's not possible to predict who will progress when and how much. Nevertheless, over time, their heart function will continue to deteriorate. So one of the benefits that we hope will occur is that we will either be able to slow that progression or perhaps even totally obliterate it so that the patients would remain stable for very long periods of time. We are not expecting these cells to create new cells in their heart. In fact, these cells create what we call a paracrine effect. In other words, they secrete molecules that are very important for repair and for recruitment of perhaps new cells from the patient's own uh, bone marrow. So this then helps repair the damaged heart. And this is what we are hoping to see. This trial is designed so that out of every five patients, three are randomized to receive their own active cells, and two are randomized to what we call a sham procedure, where there's actually no cells administered but the, um, the laboratory and the patient do not know exactly what they received. And this is necessary uh, to be able to provide the highest level of evidence. We are also prepared to offer such patients active treatment at the end of the trial follow-up. So we were required by the FDA to do a 10-patient lead-in phase where all 10 patients were treated 
with the uh, cells. Now, of course, we do not have a comparable uh, uh, reference group to compare them to because all of the patients received cell treatment, but the improvement was remarkable. The six-minute walk distance improved uh, significantly, as did a host of other outcomes. Our hope is that we can recapitulate those results from the 10-patient lead-in phase in the 160 patients that will get the active treatment in the, uh, in the primary trial. Thank you.